now to the failed recount in Palm Beach County. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is in Riviera Beach and picks up that part of our live team coverage. And Amber, they completely missed the 3 p.m. deadline. A hand recount is going to be an even bigger challenge. So how confident is the supervisor there? Good afternoon to you both. Yes, well, the last time we spoke to the supervisor of elections here in Palm Beach County, she was very confident. She tells CBS4 the only reason why they missed the machine recount deadline was because the machines overheated. They were running 24-7. They simply stopped working. But she assures the hand recount will run a lot smoother. Given probably three or four more hours, we might have made the time. Palm Beach election supervisor admitted defeat Thursday afternoon after failing to meet machine recount deadline. Her office incapable of recounting a single tight race out of four still up in the air. She blamed ballot counting machines. Our machines failed because we were using them 24 seven and I don't I think it was extraordinary. And so if the judge will allow us, we'd like to continue to do the other recounts. Palm Beach's machines are 10 years old, count just one race at a time and were scheduled to be replaced. The supervisor are held off because the latest machines do not comply with regulations for 2020. Can't responsibly spend $11 million and not make sure that it complies with ADA. She said she plans to plead with the state to change the regulations while decertifying her outdated machines. Without the machine recount, the law requires Palm Beach to stick with the count they submitted on Saturday before the recount. It was a heroic effort and we just completed uploading our Saturday results as is required in law. And so those are the results that they're going to use to determine the uh, what we expect to be a hand recount. The hand recount is already set up. Teams from both campaigns and election workers will be reviewing 5,950 ballots. These are the ballots where machines detected voters chose more than one candidate or no candidate at all. I'm free. Outside the elections office, Republicans clamored, calling the narrow race between Rick Scott and Bill Nelson over. The question is Bill Nelson. Does he want to put the state of Florida through this manual oh, recount? Does he want to drag the state of Florida through court? Democrats, though, are holding on to the fact that there are tens of thousands of over-under votes to be considered. It is unprecedented in the history of the United States of America for a margin of this deficit to be changed in a recount. Bill Nelson's own lawyer has called a margin half this size insurmountable. Good to be in Elliot Beck out here live in Palm Beach County. The supervisor of elections says she's hoping the hand recount will only take anywhere from three to four hours. Reporting live, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News at 7.